All right, guys, today we're here in Castleton, Indiana, celebrating Grace's birthday a little bit early. We're getting ready to take it back to the 70s with a fondue joint. Maybe you've heard of it. Brace yourself. It's the melting pot. <laughs> So here is the fondue menu. You can do items a la carte if you want with the cheese, your salad options, and fondue. For the meats and veggies, they do have some good vegetarian options. There's the different cooking styles. And then my personal favorite, the dessert options. Now everything is priced per person. So what we always do and what we recommend is doing the complete fondue experience for two. And it's 110 for two people, and that is the total price, not each, so don't freak out about that. But you get a cheese, two salads, you each get a set of meat. We always do the create your own meat and pick three different meats. And then you get chocolate as well. So really, if you do the a la carte and you wanna do all four things, you need to do the experience for two because you're going to save more money that way. They do have a kind of large drink menu, so they have lots of cocktails here. The whiskey business is one of my personal favorites. It's pretty strong, so if you like some whiskey and bourbon, I highly recommend that. And they have a bunch of wines. I'm thinking about going with the wine today, especially a nice Cabernet or Merlot. You can do a different wine tastings, and they have some sangria. They do have some non-alcoholic options, like coffee and lemonade. And then it tells you the cooking times on the back of the menu so that you can get that, as well as the entree sauces that you get with your food, which we'll show you in a little bit. So we have a bourbon beer base that I'm going to go in with. I'll just sip that yeah, bourbon. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people that all the time. I have garlic going in, a lot of garlic. Yeah, what happens to that last little bit? We end up tossing it. <laughs> I know. I'm heartbroken by that. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I do um, see people, they want to take a shot of like the rum that we yeah. use in the dessert. So I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> very, very strong. Yes. <laughs> and chocolate and alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Great pairing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and bacon and, and cheese. And bacon and cheese. My favorite. Yes. This is my favorite cheese that we have. And then I would say the flaming turtle mm -hmm. and the s'mores is one of my favorites because I get to like those on yes. fire. The flaming turtle is what we always get. Oh, yeah. Um, but then when we saw the bananas fosters on them, we were like, okay, we got to try Yeah, that. that's fun, too, because I get to light that on fire and then mm -hmm. put a little cinnamon sparks in there. And then I'm going to add the bacon. Get that cooked down a little bit. I also add a little bit of mustard powder awesome. as well. I can go ahead and turn this down now. <laughs> and then forgive me for the way I pronounce this. I always say that before I do it because it's horrible. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I like to say W sauce because it's yes. easiest, but that's going in. And then on your dipper board, you're going to get some pretzel bread, some French bread. You got your veggies, so broccoli, carrot, celery. And you also have some Granny Smith apples as well. And if you want some more, I'd be happy to get you some more. All right. Oh, that looks good. I know. <laughs> it smells good, too. Looks done. It's so mesmerizing. I know, right? Do you find that no one gives you eye contact because they're just they're watching staring, you? Yeah, yeah, they're fascinated by it, which is fine because me too. All right, so this is our first time getting this particular cheese. It is the bacon bourbon cheddar, or cheddar bourbon, I don't know, those three things basically. And I'm really excited. I'm dipping it in the pretzel first. Oh, yes. Cheese pull, cheese pull. Is it hot? Probably hot. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, yes. That is cheesy bacon goodness. Goodness. Mm, mm, mm. 
All right, I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna go a little healthy now. Try a piece of broccoli, because I love a good cheesy broccoli. Oh, I lost the broccoli. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> broccoli down. Almost. Oh, yes. <laughs> really, if you like a good cheese pull, you're going to like the melting pot. Oh, no. <laughs> I could have seen that one coming. <laughs> All right, this broccoli might be a lost cause, let's be honest. But, you know, I'm just making sure it's extra cheesy. <laughs> it is raw broccoli, so maybe, you know, I cooked it a little bit by dipping it in there extra. It's like broccoli cheddar soup right there. Okay. Pretty tasty. They do also give you um, Granny Smith apples, which most people are like sweet and savory, but um, it's pretty common for people to put a slice of cheese on their apple pie. So this is kind of reminiscent of that. I do not do that because one of my flaws is that I don't like pie. That's so good. I love cheese. So the pretzel bread here is the best thing you could ever have in your life. They could just leave all the rest of this stuff out and give me this as far as I'm concerned. Which you can ask for. You can. But I like all the stuff. And I don't like to be high maintenance. <laughs> that is delicious. It's got a little bit of a bourbon taste to it. Really? Mostly you taste the oh bacon. Well, I don't like bourbon, so I, love I can it. taste it. Mainly you just taste some sharp cheese and the bacon and a little mustard, which you know that we love mustard around here. But I will try the apple now because I do love apples and cheese. I don't know if that's just a Midwest thing or if that's a cultured person thing or a hillbilly person thing. I don't know, but I like it either way. All right, hold on. I'm going to get a real pull. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That is pulley. Okay, I lied. Give me the pretzel bread and the apples. Everything else, bah, get it out of here. So we haven't been here for a while. We came last May for Brent's mom's birthday and Mother's Day present. Um, so they did not have this item on the menu last time we were here. It is a caprese salad. Um, I also, I went with the wine today, so it's going to go perfectly with this. Mm. That's a really good cab. Not too heavy, not too light, very evenly balanced. Ooh, a little bit of crunch action in this salad. And that is a thick piece of mozzarella, which is perfection. And it's got a nice amount of the balsamic glaze on there, which if you watch the Fogo de Chao video, you know that I tried to make a caprese, poor man's caprese, but I didn't have balsamic or basil, so we'll see. Tomatoes are really fresh. The mozzarella is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. filet mignon and I'm dipping it in the green goddess dressing very flavorful very tender 
And then I also have the herb crusted chicken. I'm gonna eat this guy plain. So good, so tender. It really doesn't eat any of the sauces that they give you. And then last is the garlic pepper steak. That one I did get closer to a medium, so that makes me happy. Ooh, that is flavor town. I don't know, am I allowed to say that? Is that trademark? Copyright. <laughs> they also give you potatoes and mushrooms that you can um, get cooking in there, so to kind of balance it out, so that's not just a meat fest. Potato, a little bland, but you know, it's not supposed to be the star of the show. The meat's the star, so can't really complain about that. <laughs> A good thing about it here, if you don't eat all of the meat, they will give you a to-go box. We always cook ours, um, cook the meat a little under, so that way when we get home we can cook it again. And take some of the mushrooms, we usually throw it in with some mashed potatoes or rice or something. So really, you get a second meal out of it. The made of it. Right. Hey, I'm going to set this down in front of you. Oh, get your plates Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a bonfire. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's awesome. Really excited to try this. For the first time, I'm gonna get these chocolate marshmallows over onto Brent's side because not the biggest chocolate fan. I'm going to try it first with a waffle piece because that is our tried and true favorite here. Oh my goodness. That caramel drip. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. We normally get the turtle one, the flaming turtle, which is chocolate, caramel, and candy pecans, and it is phenomenal. But since we last came here, they came out with a Bananas Fosters, which is white chocolate and dulce de leche and bananas. And since I'm not a big chocolate person, it seemed like the perfect one to try because I love caramel. I know it's going to be good when I talk with my uh, fondue spork fork. I don't know what it's called. One of those. Trident. I think. Trident, yes. I am Poseidon. Um, Every time we come here though, I always tell the servers that they need to have the option of vanilla ice cream. Cause like, if I could just throw this on top of some vanilla ice cream, I would be in heaven. Or give me a glass of milk, one or the other, cause it's very rich, but it is delicious. I need to get a banana up on there. That's what needs to happen. So I'm gonna use the spoon that they gave us to get a banana. A little drippy drip. Don't want it too hot. Don't wanna burn my face off. Those bananas are delicious. Oh my goodness. This one, it might be the winner. Oh yeah. That's good stuff. I've been sitting here very patiently for several minutes. Now it's my turn. So I'm gonna try that marshmallow that Grace said she doesn't like because she's weird. And we'll give this a horrible Twisty twist. A hot. What kind of liquor goes into this? Do you remember? It's very strong, whatever it is. Alright, now I'm going to try it and get a little piece of banana in there. Is that the waffle cone? It is the waffle. It's the best. fast dance and then a slow dance also because that's awesome it just tastes really good it's kind of caramely and um excellent friend i'd say this one is my favorite probably so all right so it's time to show you the bill here we got the four course experience for two which is 120 and we had grace's eight ounce pour of wine 14 dollars Sounds like a lot to me, but I don't really drink wine, so I don't have any idea. This is not a cheap place to come, but I guess for the experience, it's worth it. 
I guess. I'll let you be the judge of that. All right, so we just finished up eating at the Melting Pot for a little bit of an early birthday celebration for me. Um, I always like coming here because it's fun and it's something different that we can't get anywhere else since it is a fondue restaurant. Brent doesn't like it because of the price, um, but really when it comes to my birthday, it's okay because I get to choose whatever I want. But the food is delicious. We are always super stuffed when we leave here. So it's kind of like at Fogo de Chao where we ate lunch and I'm probably not going to need to eat dinner later. It's delicious. Our um, waitress, Ashton, was amazing. She was super nice, really attentive. Um, really awesome. We'd both been here before, so it wasn't our first time, but she made sure that we knew what we were getting into, which was awesome. Okay, now it's my turn. So this is Grace's favorite place to come. <laughs> Not favorite, top five. Mm, top five. Top five. <laughs> okay, so we come here for every anniversary or her birthday every year. Um, I'll say the food's good but it's not anywhere near worth the money that you pay, in my opinion. But you pay for the experience. Yeah, experience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you've gathered this by now, but you'll get to know it even more, <laughs> is I hate spending money on food especially. <laughs> So if something is really expensive, I'm gonna go in not liking it right off the bat because it's too expensive. Um, so, I mean, like I said, you can come here and the meal's gonna be two hours probably at least because you just kind of hang mm -hmm. out and go course by course and enjoy it. So yeah, not a quick meal. No, it's a good date night place, but um, as far as bang for your buck, I would say no way. But like. If you're wanting a special occasion, like you got a promotion or graduated, or you're like me and you just love your birthday and want to celebrate yourself. You want to be a princess. Yes, then, then it's a good place to come. Hey, I'm going to come here probably 200 more <laughs> times because that's where she wants to come, but I'm not going to have to like it. Uh, anything else you want to say about it? I give it a thumbs up. I know you give it a medium. Yeah, Me. that's where we're right at. Right in the middle. Which makes yeah. sense. Food's but... good. The price <laughs> sucks. Whatevs. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We really want to keep doing these videos, but the subscriptions need to go up, so help us out with that. Thank you. Thank you.